What is good guys back with more SPL week 2 we got my man BTB versus Sabala this time BTB playing for the Sharks they are up 3-1 at the moment versus the Clathiest so I'm expecting this to be either Bandit or Scar Victini um, BTB is just gonna protect it or get the Mega off even if it's Z Victini it's not a threat at all because Chansey would wall that um, so Sabala if he has if he's Bandit he could go for Recreate if, uh, if he's not Bandit he could go for U-Turn um, that has to be a Thorvest Megina on Sabala's side uh, either the Gera or the Katana is Z-move, I assume the Katana is the Z-move user. And yeah, the Landris is gonna be um, probably defensive to help with the Zygarde matchup. So there's the Megina, BTB is just gonna protect here, it's pretty safe, you want the Mega off. So BTB can either protect again here or he can go to Chansey. I'm expecting Sabala to just Volt Switch here. Um, this is probably AV, mm, Volt Switch confirms it. Mm -hmm. So now BTB is just gonna go Chansey. Sabala should just Volt Switch. Um, there's no point uh, for BTB in uh, going Hippo. That's just unnecessary risky. He does Ice Beam predicting the Hippo. So this Chansey doesn't have rocks. The rocks are on Hippodon. I know BTB's team. Um, I helped him a bit with the team, but he made most of it. Like, I didn't make the team at all. I just talked about some sets with him. So, like, this Chansey has, um, could go for Toxic or Seismic Toss here. As I assume Sabala is either going to go into Landris or Kartana, but he probably wants to preserve health on his Kartana. So if he's Helmet Landris, I expect him to go to that. Um, yeah, it's either Helmet or Lefties, but I assume it has to be Defensive Landris, just looking at Sabala's team. Helps him, like, check a lot of physical attackers. And yeah, you can tell Sabala probably didn't expect BTB to bring Stall. I mean, if it's, um, if the Landris is Offensive Z-move, that could be a threat for BTB for sure, but I'm, I would assume it's not. It just has to be a um, defensive line looking at the team. So I expect either Astros or a Toxic to come out here from the Chansey. And there's the Toxic on the Landros. Yeah, that's a pretty smart play from BTB in case it has Helmet. You don't take any chip on your Chansey. So yeah, now BTB should just go to Zapdos. Which is, I think we, we changed it, or he changed it, I should say, to defensive. At first it was fast Zapdos to outspeed um, Landros. And yeah, like the, the problem is, I think... The team was a bit weak to Pinsir and a big weak to, um, what was it, Ka Defensive Zapdos helps a bit better with Katana and versus Pinsir. So you just Earthquakes there, potentially predicting BTB to go Sableye, but the Sableye is Spadef, so you obviously don't want to go to that, and the Zapdos can always defog on the Landris. So that was a risk-free play by BTB. Um, so this Zapdos um, is just gonna go for HP Ice here. Sabala is most likely gonna switch into either Megina or Victini here. Or his own Zapdos. Yeah, he could also go to his own Zapdos. But yeah, the Zapdos is pressure, which is um obviously nice. In case the opponent has a rocks Clefable, Zapdos has pressure, which means um Clefable has less rock PP than Zapdos has D4 PP because of pressure. Um so that can be really nice keeping rocks off. But Isabella has no point, there's no point for st in staying in here, so Isabella has to switch into either Megina or Zapdos. So this Zapdos has Roost, um, Discharge, HP Ice, and Defog. So it doesn't have Heat Wave, if I recall correctly, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can just go for HP Ice. Like, he could also go for Discharge, predicting a switch, but I think BTB can afford to, like, play pretty safe this matchup. He doesn't really have to predict. So there's the Zapdos. Is we see HP Ice question mark? Yep. Now, maybe Sabala has Heatwave on this and he's trying to burn BTB Zapdos. But yeah, BTB is just gonna switch out here. Uh, having Zapdos healthy is gonna be important for Katana and maybe for Gyarados as well. So yes, um, BTB can go into his Chansey here. Him having Hippodon in the back is also really nice because like if if this has Volt Switch, Sabala is like tempted to not click Volt Switch. We could see earlier with the Megina he didn't want a Volt Switch because of the potential Hippo coming out and blocking that. So that's pretty cool. The yeah, Hippodon is um I think it's fifth death with uh Wilwind Slack of Earthquake and Rocks. That's gonna be um nice. If the Victini is physical, the Hippodon is gonna be important for that. So there's a chance he has the heat wave. We could see again, he didn't want to go for electric move because of the Hippodon, and he is just going to Astos, I assume. He does softballs, okay. He wants his chance at full as well. Um, so there's the Kartana. This is probably SDZ move. And so it could be two things. It could be Grassium or it could be Darkinium is what I'm thinking. 
Um, so BTB is gonna have to go on a Zapdos here. So what some of you guys might not know is that this BTB's team looks pretty weak to Kartana on paper because the Zapdos doesn't have Heat Wave. But yeah, the the the, the unaware Clefable actually is um, I think it's max defense with Flamethrower, so that might be really nice later on in the game. Since most Katanas don't carry Smart Strike, Clefable is able to deal with most of them. Um, unless they're Grassium, Grassium could be a problem. But even that wouldn't Oko. And like Leaf Blade only does like, I think it does a little bit less. Oh, why can I not speak? It does a little bit less than half Leaf Blade. So as long as you don't get crit, you can um, switch into Leaf Blade even. But yeah, Zapdos can also help. Now, yeah, Zapdos is gonna come out here, right? You obviously don't want to go hard into Clef, you want to like kind of figure out the Kartana set. Um, yeah, Sabella has used an ulti a lot of times, sub SD Kartana with Darkinium, so that's definitely an option um, BDB has to look out for. He's obviously not going to stay in here with the Chansey. So he doubles in the Victini, um, expecting the Zapdos. Slash Clef. Now he expected the Zapdos, I would guess. The thing is, um, BDB can now just go into her Powdown. Right, you can go into a Powdown, um, he's max defense, and unless this Victini is mixed or special, Hippodon is going to be able to deal with it. If it's Bandit Recreate, that might actually be able to do a lot to the Hippodon, but if it's Scarf, Hippodon is going to munch on that. So there's the Hippo, I assume we see either U-turn or Recreate. It does nothing, so that's probably Scarf. Mm -hmm. So BTB can just go for Slack off here. Um, Sabella obviously wants to switch out, so this Victini is probably U-turn, V-Create, um, Bolt Strike, or Zen Headbutt, and last move, Final Gambit. There's a Gyarados, so we just Slack Off. Yep, so this is most likely Mega Gyarados. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm expecting a Z-Move to be on Kartana, and since the Victini is a Scarf, we know that the Kartana is most likely not Scarf. So this is gonna be Dragon Dance Gyarados. Um, so BTB could do two things, he could go for a Whirlwind here, or he could go on a Zapdos. As he Dragon Dances, do we see the Whirlwind? Yeah, nice play by BTB, because even if the Gyarados attacks, their Hippodon's max defense and can eat up a Waterfall if it has that. And if he Whirlwinds on a D, that's completely fine for him. So now he goes Zapdos to always keep the rocks off, always keep rocks off. Um, and yeah, because if he goes Sable there on a, on a U-turn or on an Earthquake, then you get unnecessary chipped. And Zapdos is able to eat that up with ease. And yeah, now he just goes back and no Hippodon. And Sabella doesn't want to U-turn because then he takes chip damage from Helmet. So Sabella could either hard double out here into... Um, Katana or Gyarados, he could either do a double, mm -hmm. or he could um, maybe go for Final Gambit because from that he doesn't take Helmet damage. But I doubt Final Gambit would do much to Hippo because it's like max HP and you already took some chip on the Victini. And I assume Victini, um, you run no HP investment on Scarf, he does just U turn, which I don't know about that play because you just did like nothing to Hippo and you took more chip on Victini. I think you should have doubled if anything, but to be fair. To be fair, this is a really hard matchup for Sabella, so he's gonna get a slash Kartana here. Now this time, he's not gonna drag Nance again because he already got Whirlwind out. So I'm expecting him to just attack this time. Um, yeah, this is either gonna be Waterfall Crunch Taunt. The other options would be um, oh, he does drag Nance again. Wow. Okay. And BDB goes for Rocks, expecting him to not drag Nance. He expected him to most likely just attack because he Whirlwind the first time. Um, now this is a bit of an issue. He doesn't have waterfall it seems. So BDB is gonna whirlwind here. Let's see if he gets flinched. Okay. So yeah, BDB didn't necessarily need the hip power on healthy. Like whirlwinding there was important because if Gyarados um, he does defog, he as he's gonna slack off. Yeah. This hip power doesn't have toxic, so it's whirlwind slack off earthquake and rocks. I think it's everything. Is everything already revealed? So he goes in the chancy here. Um, what was I trying to say earlier? Yeah, like whirlwinding out Gyarados was important because if it mega evolves. Uh, Mold Breaker goes through unaware from Clefable, and it can also potentially flinch the, the Zapdos with Ice Fang. I assume it doesn't have Waterfall, because if it had Waterfall, it would have gone for it. I think there was no reason not to Waterfall if you had it. So he's Ice Fang, um, Ice Fang Dragon Dance, and then probably Crunch, and the last move could be, could be a few things. Could be Taunt, could be Sub, could be Earthquake. So I'm expecting... Um, BDB to either go for Seismic Toss or... Yeah, I think Seismic Toss is fine. Yep. Let's see if he's Helmet or Lefties. He's... Uh, did we already know that earlier? He's not Lefties and he's not Helmet. So maybe it's Yachi? I don't know. So BDB is just gonna go back to Zapdos. It's repetitive, but it's the plays that he has to make. 
You want to just ensure that rocks don't go up on your side if you're using a team like this. There's the U-turn for some chip. And now we'll see um, either Victini or his own Zapdos come out. Like, you can see... Um, there was this was well pre this was well done in the team build up at BTB. Um, he knew that Sabala might be weak to a team like this, and I think he did a really good job. Now Hippolyta is obviously gonna come out. Hippolyta is back at full. Yeah, the only thing that Hippo's health was important for is for this Victini, but Hippolyta was not necessary to win the game. So um, I completely agree with Will winning and the plus one Gyarados earlier. So, like, Isabella can't do anything. He can either final gambit or he can, like, double out breaking the Hippowdon. But that doesn't get that doesn't get him anywhere. Like, that he doesn't make any progress by doubling out on the Hippo. Um, hmm. Like, the only way I can see him winning is if he, like, drag lenses up with Gyarados and then gets Ice Fang flinches later in the game. That's, like, the only way I can see him winning. So, there's the final gambit and actually does a little bit more than I thought it would after the two helmet rounds that he already took. Now, he can go Kartana. Yeah, Gyarados and Kartana are, like, the only ways they can put in work, uh, the only ones that can put in work for Sabella. But, like I said, he has Fist Death Underwear Clef with Flamethrower, which is going to be able to deal with the Kartana somewhat and... Zapdos can potentially also deal with that, but Zapdos health is gonna be important. Uh, Zapdos health is important for Gyarados, because I think he, since he made the Zapdos fist death, the Zapdos will be able to live um, probably a plus one and maybe even a plus two Ice Fang. So I think BTB is either gonna go with Zapdos here or he's gonna Whirlwind. He's most likely Zapdosing here. That sounds so weird, Zapdosing. He's gonna go Zapdos here, but. Um, I think Zabala um, might just go for like FT here. He has to attempt to set up. The thing is, like, how important? How important is this Hippowdon? Like, Hippowdon is nice to woman out the Gyarados. It's nice to make Gyarados not uh, to make Zapdos not click electric moves and to make Megina think twice before it clicks Volt Switch. But other than that, Hippowdon is not necessary. Okay, the only thing Hippowdon is nice for is for getting rocks up as well. That's what it's nice for. But like, it's not necessary to win. So like, I'm thinking he might also, he could also go for Whirlwind here. Um, Zapdos is probably the better play, like thinking about it. But a potential play is also Whirlwind name because I think Sabella is not gonna just leave Blade. I think he's either gonna SD or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Zapdos is, overall Zapdos seems like the play to make, but a potential play is also Whirlwind Blade in the SD. But yeah, keeping Hippo to get up rocks later in the game does make sense. Um, there's the Zapdos. Do we see SD? Uh huh. So now, if it's Darkinium um, or if it's Grassium, no matter what, both would do like 70 to 80 percent at least. Like I've run a calc. I think Grassium. I think Grassium kills defensive Zapdos after rocks. Same with Darkinium. You need like some prior chip. So like it doesn't Oko, but it's not about not Okoing. It's about um. It would do a lot to Zapdos, and Zapdos health is important for Gyarados, so BTB is not going to stay in here. Um, so he's most likely going to either go Hippowdon or Sableye here. Probably Sableye to scout out for the Z-move, as Sabella does go for Sub. So Sabella was either hoping for a Heatwave miss there, or he predicted him to scout for the Z-move. I think he predicted him to scout for the Z-move, so that was a good play on Sabella. Um, so now he can just go for Leaf Blade, he doesn't have to use up his Z-move. Um, this is either Leaf Blade... Leaf Blade Sub SD, the last move is either Sacred Sword or or it could be um, Night Slash. We have seen Sabella spam that set in an old T, which is why I'm thinking that it might be that. I have not seen that set in forever, but since he has used that so much, it might be that set. Mm. So yeah, BTB might, uh, probably has to sack the Sableye here. And then afterwards, he has to go into Unaware Clef, which as long as it does not get crit, Clefable is going to be able to deal with this Kartana. So he sacks the pot on. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah. So he sacks the pot on to get the Rocky Helmet damage off. Yeah, like the da helmet damage doesn't matter. Okay, so her pot was already weakened. So um, Clefable is gonna go for Moonblast here to break this up. And that way he does not reveal. That's a smart play. That way you don't reveal that you have Flamethrower, right? He should have. That's exactly the correct play. Now, I don't think Sabala is gonna switch out because he has this plus three katana. So he's just gonna spam Fish for Crit. So BTB can either go for Wish or for Protect here. Most likely Protect is gonna come out, but Wish is also completely fine here. No, the, the only re the reason why you would Protect is is because um, if you fear Grassium, yeah, yeah. If you fear Grassium, you Protect here. If it's Grassium, that might be super bad for BTB because 
that can that could be able to beat the Corfable um, Aggressium. Let's say if he goes for like sub or SD on a protect here and then he leaves plate, right? Now if he goes if he has Grassium and goes for it now, that would be super bad. But I assume he doesn't have it. So now um BDB should just go for flamethrower, I think. Cause if he goes for Wish, um then next turn on the protect, Sabella could go for sub and it's unnecessary mind game. So he does just go for flamethrower, I assume, right? Yep. Like that's the play I would have that makes the most sense. Because, um, and yeah, now the people are gonna go wild in the chat because they did not know about the tech. Um, because if you like, if you like wish there, then there's the potential that Sabala subs on a protect, and you don't want to be in that put in that scenario. So I completely agree with just flame throwing. Like that's the play I would have made as well. Uh, also earlier I thought he could have flagged the Sableye, but I guess uh, have have health hippo. I guess was less important than Sableye. I think it doesn't matter too too much. Mm, yeah, I mean, Sableye can be nice to like help with Zapdos and Landros, but Chansey also deals with those. Chansey with Zapdos deals with those. So now Gyarados is in. Sabella is going to have to Mega Evolve here to take the Discharge. And the thing is, the Zapdos is defensive um, if BTB made that change that um, I think we talked about it, right? Um, I mean, he also. T um, it's not like I like had most that much influence on his team, but like I know a little bit about his team. Let's put it that way. I think you also. Um, I think Avon also helped him, right? Um, so he's just gonna either DD again or Ice Fang, and that BDB is just gonna discharge here, right? And let's see if he gets a para. So he does get the para, and this game is pretty much over now. There's the full para as well. The thing is, the para was not game changing because um, Zapdos, I think, is able to even take a plus to Ice Fang because it's defensive. Um, we're gonna run a calc after the game is over because we don't want to miss any turns. And even if Zapdos would have died, let's say he gets a crit or a flinch. Then Chansey can take any hit from Gyarados as well afterwards, and Chansey can, yeah, Chansey would have been able to take a hit, the plus two hit, because it's max defense Chansey, right? And then it can, oh yeah, he's asking for if he has Waterfall. And then Chansey can go for just um, either Toxic or Seismic Toss, probably Toxic, if this, it depends on if the Gyarados was in Seismic Toss range. And then um, Gyar then he could have, um, when the Zap Gyarados is Toxic, and Beats either the Teddy Zapdos beats the Chansey, then afterwards BTB can go to either Jirachi or Sableye, go for Protect, and then the Gyarados goes down. And then even if he loses his Chansey, um, since he still has the Sableye alive, so I guess that's why it was smart to keep the Sableye alive, um, then Sableye can deal with Zapdos because it's Spadaf and it has Willow with some knockoff. So yeah, Sableye is just forfeit, he has no way of breaking BTB's team. The last turns were not important to talk about, I think it was way more important to explain the Gyarados scenario. And now I'm gonna pause and show you guys the calcs, I'm pretty sure it didn't matter. I think the Hex was not game deciding. And yeah, he had EQ, Ice, Fang and Crunch, he didn't have Waterfall. Yeah, like, he didn't even have Waterfall, so like, Chansey would have easily been able to take a plus two hit from Gyarados. Let me show you guys some calcs. As you guys can see here, if the Zapdos is defensive, um, plus two Ice Fang. Yeah, plus two, I did it correct. Does uh, 67 to 80 to defensive Zapdos, right? And if the Zapdos was the more offensive set, then it probably would have um, died, obviously, but I think he made the change to defensive Zapdos. If he's the timid set, then he probably would have died. So that was important there that he made that change. Yeah, it would have been a roll, but it would have still been a roll in BTB's favor. So yeah, um, Sabella, if he would not have gotten Parrot, and then he would have had to flinch the Zapdos. And even if he flinches the Zapdos, then I'm, now I'm going to show you the Kalk versus Chansey. He also has to flinch the Chansey because, um, yeah, like Crunch only does this much. Uh, only does this much. Ice Fang does absolutely nothing. So he would have had to flinch it with Ice Fang like twice. Because Ice Fang, Ice Fang into Crunch only kills with a roll. So he has to flinch and then get the roll, or he has to flinch and then flinch again, or he has to freeze him. So like, and then he can just, um, if it was an S toss range, he could have S toss. If it not, then he could have had to hit a toxic. But it was hot. It was on BTB's favor a lot, pretty much, because not only does he have to um, flinch the uh, the, the Zapdos, not only has to flinch the Zapdos, he also has to hex the ch hex the Chansey down. So yeah, I guess it was the better play then to um, sack the Hippodon instead of the Sableye, just in case he lost his Chansey. Um, if his Zapdos got flinched and then lost the chance to Gyarados to Toxic it, then it was definitely smarter to keep the Sableye. Okay, so yeah, well played by BTB and yeah, especially well prepped in the team builder. And yeah, 
Let me uh, show you guys the score real quick. I mean, there's not really a point. I'm just gonna talk about it. Really. Yeah, okay, never mind. Here we are. So, like, um, here it says 2 and 1 for the Sharks, but um, GG Fan just won, so it's like 3 and 1, and now BTB won. So, the Sharks are up 4 and 1 versus the class yet. So, yeah, it's cool to see because the Sharks lost the first week, and I obviously want my man BTB to do well. Yeah, Black Oblivion was Latin is happening later. I'm also gonna record that. I'm also gonna record um, Arjuna Tricking. That's gonna, my man UB is hopefully gonna guest narrate that. And I'm also gonna record uh, Zine and Axel. And I also recorded some black white games the other day, but I just don't I'm just don't have the, the greatest black white knowledge. I might still narrate them when I find time, but my focus for now is on Sunimon OU or Ross OU. And if I ever have too much time and still have which is not gonna happen anytime soon because I also recorded um an OST series yesterday that I'm gonna bring to you. Um, so yeah, whenever when I'm ever when I'm caught up with that, I might eventually uh, be able to bring you guys some black white, but it's not gonna happen that often. Thank you guys for watching. Expect more SPL content later and peace out.